soundtrack. Welcome to another edition of Sacktown Movie Buffs TV. Once again, it's your boy Pierre. And today we have David uh, Verdestras. Hopefully I said that correctly. Yes, sir. <laughs> and he's going to talk to us today uh, about his uh, acting, directing, as well as being a stand-up comedy experience here in the Sacramento area. And I say without further ado, let's get right into it. How are you doing today, David? Doing great. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So you're local here in Sacramento, is that correct? Or? Yes, sir. I've been here for a while. Okay, perfect. Okay. And then, um, so I know that you are, kind of have w wear many hats. Um, so obviously you're an actor. Yes, sir. Um, as well as a director. Yep. And then you also do stand-up here in the area as well? Yeah. Uh, all over Northern California. I've been doing it for about three years now. Um, I started out as an actor. Did that for about 10 or 12 years, uh, doing the whole shuffle back and forth from San Francisco, figuring out commercials and all that stuff. And that kind of pushed me into writing. Writing pushed me into directing, and I did my first film here about three years ago and just finished my second about three months ago. We're been hopefully going to have that released here in a couple of months. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so I know uh, one of the films that they talked about was Shoeless in the Woods. Was that a film that you directed and acted or just acted in? Yeah, uh, wrote, directed, and was in uh, as one of the actors. Um, and it was, it's based on a true story. It happened in the 1970s out in New Jersey and we relocated it here to Sacramento and put it in modern times. And it's basically about a bunch of gangsters doing gangster stuff. Okay. Yeah. Well, I love gangster films, so that sounds very Me too. I to love me. gangster <laughs> movies and I knew I was going to make one someday, so I figured I'll make it the first one and get it out of the way. Absolutely. And you said it's a short film, so how long is the runtime on that? 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, so, and it's free. Which is always cool. So 15 minutes free, and, and you can check it out on uh, our channel, which is Wise Guy Productions on okay. YouTube. Oh, perfect. That's awesome. Um, how long was the process for making the film? When did, when did you start complete? Oh, my God. So <laughs> it was one of those situations where kind of every, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong, but I had a really good crew around me and really good actors, really positive mindset. So it took a little bit longer. But it was worth it. I learned a lot along the way, and doing the second one was a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. So. The first time is always the toughest. It gets a little bit easier, and then by the time you do your third film, you're a pro. <laughs> yes, there we go. I like that. <laughs> so, no, absolutely. Um, and then how is the film? You've submitted it to festivals, or um, how has how does, how does that worked out for you? So I basically will submit it to festivals all over California, Southern California, Northern California. It's done pretty good. Um, we won a couple of awards here and there, but it's the first film. The main thing was kind of, kind of trying to get a reaction from the audience. Right. And every time I've gotten a chance to show it on a big screen, we've gotten a really good reaction well, from that's the a, audience. That's a big plus, exactly. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that kind of tells you whether you're on the right track. And obviously, I know when you do your first film, sometimes there's a little bit of polish issues you want to there's some things that you say oh I could have did this a little bit better or I could did that a little bit better uh, but I've talked to some experienced directors and they'll tell you even if you made 50 films they still find things that when they watch your films they're still critiquing themselves and they're always constantly improving because there's no such thing as perfection when it comes to film unfortunately so, exactly yes. but no absolutely um, and then uh, there's another film called The Stroller is that another one that you're directing as well then Yes, uh, I'm not starring in that one. Uh, directed that one. Had an amazing group of really good comedic actors. It's a comedy. Uh, it's about three horrible narcissists who drink too much. Okay. And they uh, have to go to a baby shower. And all of them want to buy a really nice present for this couple for their own narcissistic reasons. And so they all go in on this stroller and go to the baby shower. And, of course, it goes horribly wrong. So it's, uh, it, again, it's another 15 minute film. Okay. Uh, not quite done yet. We just finished editing it. I just sent it off to uh, my guy to have it colored, to have the sound done and everything, and hopefully have a release date in a couple of months here. Perfect. So. And you plan on having that, not only your YouTube channel, also you're going to submit it to festivals as well. Yes, sir. Get it out there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then just in terms of like production, how many actors did you have in this one? Do you have a, a big crew or? We had uh, three principal actors. Uh, we had... I would say four or five co-starring actors and then a bunch of extras. We had a party scene, so we had to have a bunch of people in there. We filmed at a bar. That was an experience because with Shoeless in the Woods, it was kind of out and open in a public park area and things like that. You right. didn't really have to worry about things. Right. Then I had to rent a bar. I got really lucky with the West House out in Roseville. Uh, okay. They were gave us a really good price, were very courteous to us, and we got really lucky, but it was really interesting filming in a bar. Yeah, no, so. I can see that. That's a, And was it just like... Were they all actors or was it just like regular, did they close it down for you or how did that? They gave us like a, a private area, okay. a private room, 
But right on the other side of the wall was like the main bar where they were all partying. So everybody's getting loud and having drinks and things of that nature while yes. you guys are trying to film. So yeah, that, but that gives the full, the real bar experience though. So exactly. I think that's probably good also. So it doesn't seem like it's like super quiet. Like what kind of bar is this if it's yeah. super quiet? So that they would have thought it was sense. a movie set when we paid for a bar. For sure, for sure. Um, and then there's uh, Hidden Above, which looks like it was a sequel of Hidden Above 2, The Mysteries Unfolds. Um, so were you not in the first part of that film or? No, in this one, this was a guy I actually met um, on the film festival circuit. Uh, Parker Bial, really young guy, but incredibly talented. He's got an amazing eye for cinematography, really good director. And oddly enough, I had entered Shoeless in the Woods in the festival. And it was one of those moments where I went in there really pumped up. I'm gonna do really well here. Right. And as soon as I saw the opening to Hidden Above, Parker's film. I was like, "Well, we lost." <laughs> and, 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 you, and you thought to yourself, "If you can't beat him, join him." <laughs> yes, exactly. And, and luckily, he came to me and said, "Hey, would you be willing to play this part in the sequel?" He wrote the sequel, and I uh, play a detective in the sequel who basically comes upon a murder scene right at the beginning of the film and investigates the crime throughout. Very cool. Sounds like another another really really fun one. And that one's already out as well, been released, or is that still in post? Poster? August. August. Coming out in August. Yeah. Perfect. And is that a 15 minute film or was that one different? Yep, uh, another short film. Okay. Sounds good. You well, can actually you're check forward. out the original Hidden Above right now. Sorry, I keep interrupting you. No, you're, no, you're good. No, absolutely. <laughs> um, so Hidden Above is actually playing. It's, you, could, you could stream that one right now. Is it yes. like on YouTube or? Okay. Yep. On your channel or on Parker's? No, it's on Parker's. Uh, and you can look him up on, I believe it's Parker Vial. Okay. So he, and you should be able to find a link to his YouTube channel. Perfect. Sounds good. Uh, now just kind of transition into your stand-up because that's a little bit different, but um, but I, I see how it ties in. Um, I've talked to other uh, stand-up comedians that also do films as well, and they say that it kind of translates very well. So how long have you been doing stand-up? Three years in June. Okay. So it's it's been an interesting experience because it's by far one of the most challenging things I've ever done in my life. Yeah, no, it's not easy to get up there yeah. and, and tell jokes and make people laugh and, you know, not get tomatoes thrown at you. So oh, yeah, but you get good at ducking. <laughs> Yeah, so. yeah, <laughs> yeah. The first. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And it's it, it, what's cool about the Sacramento stand-up comedy scene is exactly that. It's really welcoming. Yeah. Uh, there's a number of clubs in the area. A number of people there give you great advice. Um, I was just at an open mic last night. There were a number of really good stand-up comics out there. Uh, actually, at Henry's Lounge out in um, Midtown Sacramento. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been there a couple times. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly where that is. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah Every great. Monday night, you can see a bunch of local Sacramento comics out there. Um, and if you're trying to, to do it, go out there. It's an open mic. The first six months will be horrible. <laughs> and the next six months will be a little bit better. But that's really it. Yeah. It's just getting up there and doing it consistently. So. Yeah, and that's what I've kind of heard about, like, stand-up comedians, even the big ones. They kind of, like, you bomb, but maybe you've had, like, one or two jokes that were really well. And then so you try to just keep adding additional jokes that hopefully don't bomb. And then eventually you have a really, really nice, good set that you can, like, take with you out on the road. Kind of exactly. Thing. So, yep. Yeah, it just, it just takes time, unfortunately. you got to... No one just jumps on stage typically and this is like, you know, amazing their first time out the gate. So Exactly. Uh, so you've been doing it, you said, for three years now? Three years, yeah. Just doing uh, shows in the area, shows in Northern California and uh, things like that. Getting put up wherever they'll put me up. Very cool. Very cool. Um, and then are you part of like a like a group? Because um, I know some, some of them are like in a, like a, like a group of uh, comedians will travel together or work together or do you just kind of see like what's open and just kind of go wherever you can fit in kind of thing? That second part, yeah, you'll, I mean, you'll network with people where they'll right. say, hey, there's an opening on this show, and I've got friends, you know, obviously around that will say, hey, there's a guest spot here, a guest spot here, but you'll want to network, uh, check out the open mics, that's the best way to do it, is just keep hitting those open mics, you'll meet different promoters, they'll give you stage time, five minutes here, five minutes there, and that's where you start building that setup. For sure, for sure. No, that's great. Um, and then now... Um, so you we were talking about just basically kind of like creating your your own content versus the traditional approach um, in the acting industry. You want to kind of just like elaborate on some of the differences with that, or yeah. When when I first started, uh, I went to an acting studio out here in Northern California, and they set me up as far as you know, get some headshots, start submitting to you know agencies out here in San Francisco and Northern California, and they mainly do commercials, you know, for like Honda, Toyota, things like that. So you don't really get a chance to actually act or do anything. So I started meeting people who were doing these short films, right. kind of releasing their content on YouTube and things like that. And that's been really interesting, meeting people and, and finding out how you're putting your content out, creating a YouTube channel versus trying to move down to Los Angeles and just audition, audition, audition. Right. So. Which approach do you think works best? 
I've never moved down to Los Angeles. So it's hard to quantify. Yeah, yeah. It, it, that's the goal though. I mean, it really does seem like if you really want to network and you really want to be close to where it's happening, you have to go down there. But it's just figuring out yeah. the rent situation and all that good stuff. Yeah, no, I, I've heard, um, I've got a few friends that are actors and they started like in Sacramento and moved down that way. And some of them have done well. They've been in commercials and, and you know, had a few spots here and there, but it's a, it's a very tough industry. Um, so, but I've seen it both ways where you go down there and you just bust tables or whatever case may be until you, you know, start meeting agents and start getting an in industry. And then also where you get your content out there, you kind of build a name up for yourself. Yes. But then when you go down to Hollywood or LA or whatever case may be, you already kind of have a little bit of credentials behind you a little bit. You can say, I've been in XYZ films. This, these are some of the films I've been in. This is what I've been doing here. I do stand comedy and so I mean I've seen it both ways I think both ways can work as well so. exactly yeah it's it's all about just getting up and doing it absolutely um, and then just going back to the content I know you, we talked about YouTube but what are some of the other platforms that you use to utilize to get your content out to the masses uh, outside of the YouTube channel freeway films has been really cool yeah uh, checking them out different festivals them lining it up for you which ones are you know good to submit to and things like that absolutely um, the film festivals themselves yeah that's a great way to get your content out there because you meet different people. You might get a part in a movie. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> you yeah. Might get a, yeah. No. No. Meet somebody. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Yeah. We had a film festival uh, just a couple months ago, and I ended up being an extra in a film actually uh, last month. So yeah, or there you a couple, go. couple weeks ago. So yeah. So you just you never know. You yeah. never know. So it's a it's a great opportunity to get involved and get into festivals, and and then you meet a lot of people, a lot of different collaborations, other directors, actors cameramen, that kind of stuff. So it's definitely a great way to network is film festivals as well. And oh, yeah. Film Parade has been great. I use it as well for my own uh, festivals. So yeah, uh, just really can't say enough about Film Parade for Freeway, sorry. But yeah, just really, really good. Which next time around, I'm definitely going to submit yeah so no please do yeah absolutely yeah absolutely uh you know email me first and maybe we'll give you a discount or something <laughs> there we go <laughs> for sure uh well was there anything else that you wanted to add anything else you want to tell the audience just in terms of how they can find you how they can reach you or anything of that nature yeah just check me out um on instagram uh oh no davo uh and then on facebook david vorderstrass as well as on youtube at wise guy productions check out the film for free Perfect. So there you have it. Well, thank you so much, David, for being on the show. Uh, love having thank you. you. Uh, come back again anytime when you finish your next film. Definitely come back and we'll, we'll talk about that as well. So um, and see how that one's doing. So Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for being on the show. And we'll be back again here soon for you guys. Thanks so much. Welcome back to Sacktown Movie Buffs TV. Once again, it's your boy Pierre, and today I'm interviewing uh, the podcast Scare Talk, uh, which is a husband and wife team, and, and along with some other members. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be Danny and Katrina Lesage. And I say, without further ado, let's get right into it. All so, right. how are you guys doing today? Doing good. Yeah. Happy to be here. Okay, yeah, good. Excited. Well, thanks for thanks for coming on the show. We're happy to have you. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to get into some 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 scare talk here. Um, cool. Right. So I'll start with you, Danny. Uh, how did how did what is scare talk about? Um, so we do <coughs> movie reviews, uh, specifically horror films. Um, we started three and a half years ago. So back in 2020, the beginning of 2020. Um, we were excited about all the 2020 films that were going to come out. <laughs> they all got pushed to 2021 <laughs> for the most part. We yeah. got to see a couple of them. Right. Um, so, but it was me and our other host who isn't with us today. He's, he lives in Idaho now, but we do the show remotely. So he's still a part of it. Um, but it was me and him who started it. Friends for a long time. Always loved horror films. Always talked about it. So we decided let's record it and see if anybody wants to listen to us talk about it. And, and um, still going strong three years later. Yeah, so we're still doing <clears> it, <throat> having a lot of fun. Uh, we started with just audio. We've been doing video as well for the last uh, well since like the beginning of this year. So Absolutely, it's been yeah. cool. And then, Christina, yeah. how did you come into it? So I came in really just like sometimes I join in on their conversations like naturally, um, <laughs> <laughs> and so. We got together and they lived together, so I've always been part of the conversation. Yeah. Um, and then, so there were certain movies where I was like, oh, I'm coming. No, I'm you're going to talk about I'm, this one. I'm coming to this one. <laughs> and then uh, Joel moved, so we needed someone to fill in for that time while they were trying to figure out the long distance stuff. So I filled in and 
then eventually they invited me to stay. <laughs> so now it's the three of I you earned primarily. My or? Spot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Three of us, yep. Yeah. And then we have some uh, episodes where we interview other people. Uh, we've had some directors on. We had you on yeah, for, right. uh, right. for uh, myself and Jason came yep, on. Right? And yeah, Jason, yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, we've had some directors, actors on for interviews and stuff too. So really great. Yeah. And how? Um, I mean, what are you? What's your plans overall? Plans with the with the podcast? What What are you? What are you hoping for? Um, so just to have fun. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and we're, we've been having fun. Yeah. Uh, you know, learning some new uh, editing stuff with yeah. video and everything. So that's been fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Our schedules have, we've always been recording like late at night, and now our <laughs> schedules are kind of working out to have weekends available, so we're hoping to get more people on the show for interviews and stuff. We have a few people that we have in mind and we've been talking with, um, so getting more people on the show is a plan, Absolutely. and uh, yeah, and just see where we go from there. No, that's and great. Less, less yawns in yeah. the show. <laughs> I'm, I'm notorious for yawning during the show, so... <laughs> Trying to is, get is it Danny's earlier. conversation boring? Or <laughs> <laughs> and she falls asleep in movies sometimes. So. Yeah. <laughs> I've been guilty of that a couple times. Yeah, yeah. In fairness, I was really tired. <laughs> or it was a really, really bad movie. <laughs> right. so, yeah, no, I definitely have been there for sure. Um, and where can people find Scare Talk? Uh, so we're on YouTube for uh, if you want to watch the video. Um, all of our episodes are on YouTube, but many of them are just audio. Like I said, we've been doing video more so the last uh, few months. Um, so you can find us there, Spotify, um, Apple Podcasts, um, pretty much anywhere. Uh, those are the main three places that people tend to tune in. Perfect. Yeah. And then just in terms, I mean, obviously you guys are big horror fans. Um, so what are some of your top five horror films? Okay. Ooh, top five. <laughs> I don't know if I have them like to rattle off the top of my head, but uh, it might not add up to the okay, top or just what are, what are some of your favorites? It's not yeah. necessarily be top five, but just name off a couple of your I favorite horror you. films. Um, so the, my favorite is Halloween. It's probably always going to be my the original, favorite. Yeah, yeah, the original. Um, it's good, but it also kind of has a special place in my heart. Um, uh, I went through brain surgery back in 2018 oh, okay. and I was going through recovery and everything and the new Halloween film for, in 2018 was coming out so I kind of went back to the series and Halloween, the original, was the first movie I was really able to watch and sit through completely without like, I, I was building a lot of anxiety and stuff from mm. the trauma of the surgery and all that. So Halloween was like that first one I was like able to really get into For sure. and, and get through. Um, so I like that. I love Scream. Um, the love whole the, series? Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. yeah. The, the last one I didn't like as much. I thought it was okay. But I mean, it's a pretty consistent series. Yeah. So I'll I agree. I yeah. enjoy it. Can't go too wrong with the Scream series yeah. for sure. I mean, yeah. obviously they're still immensely successful because they keep making them right yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so that's usually a, a telltale sign that somebody must like it if they continue to produce right. them and make them <clears throat> yeah, what about exactly. you katrina what are some of your favorite horror films um well scream has always been my top fave um ever since i was a kid and then um misery is a great one oh yeah one. that's a really good love one. the classic and this year um, the X and Pearl and Maxine came out and oh my gosh, love those. Those were really amazing. I loved Pearl because I loved the filming of it. Um, and that old feeling. Yeah. So I like old movies. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So, are you yeah. a big fan of, uh, X and Pearl as well? Yeah. Yeah. I liked them. I like Pearl a little more like, like Katrina. Um, great acting, uh, from Mia Goth in that one. Yeah, no, she was yeah. really, really good. I think um, X was my favorite film of 2022, um, so that was oh, number one. I like right. Pearl, but I just like X a little bit more. Okay. So um, just, I guess, the, the grotesqueness of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got, yeah, it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if you're into that kind of stuff, yeah. so I like a little bit of gore. So yeah. it's definitely uh, uh, the right amount of gore in there yeah. for sure. Well, Not to say there wasn't in Pearl. Yeah, yeah. We're big fans of Terrifier, too. Oh, so. and Terrifier, yes. <laughs> yeah. I love That's a very, very gory film. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's yeah. not for the faint of heart at no. all. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm terrified of clowns, but I love Terrifier. <laughs> it's it's crazy enough that yeah, yeah, for sure. So I mean, what do you guys like about doing a podcast? What's what 
you know, what's what's your what do you guys what's the satisfaction you guys get of doing a podcast? Go ahead. I <laughs> I would say um, my favorite part of it is just like getting time to really chat um, and just talk about fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been super fun being able to connect with Joel still and um, just being able to talk about fun stuff. It gives us something to do, yeah. um, gives us date nights. <laughs> you know, we yeah. got to keep up with the, the next the latest movies. Film. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I drag my wife to movies all the time. So I can yeah. <laughs> and it's super fun to see the, the like responses from different listeners mm-hmm. um he always sends me the messages when he gets messages and it's super fun to see so, that's great yeah and how about for you <clears throat> um i just like talking movies and especially <laughs> horror movies um you know it's been a really good uh, way for us to connect to me and katrina we have two kids and you know busy lives and so to be able to set aside you know a couple of hours to record a couple episodes has been really fun um, and then Joel, you know, he's one of my best friends. Right. He moved to Idaho. This keeps us connected to, and you know, so all around, it's fun. And you know, and just, I mean, obviously, I know you guys are just having fun with it, and you want to add more guests, things of this yeah. nature. Um, you know, have you thought about maybe getting on like any kind of like additional channels, like Tubi or something of that nature? Or? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah, we sure. Can do that for sure. <laughs> um, and, you know, I was thinking of, uh, we haven't been to any, like, horror conventions. Really? So, I really want to do that. Yeah. And, you know, potentially do some interviews there. There was um, just one uh, last weekend. There was a Sinister Con. Yeah. Yeah. I, I heard about it. Yeah. We didn't, we weren't able to go. But, um, but yeah, doing something like that would be fun, too. Maybe eventually having a, a spot over there where people can come meet us and everything. So. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously we're kind of like halfway through the year. Um, what were some of your favorite, just films in general, whether it be horror or um, what were some of the films that you've liked so far this year? That came out this year. You're going to mm-hmm. have to answer first because okay. I can't remember what came out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, I really liked, actually it's more recent, The Boogeyman. Oh, okay. I really <laughs> liked that one. Um, one that was just on, I think it was just Hulu, Sick. I like that one a lot. Oh, oh that's yeah, the one did. where a, uh, it was centered around COVID, right? Yeah. They, they go yes. to COVID to like escape and like right. get away and then like yes. quarantine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, I he loved it. Yeah. Oh, I thought my it was goodness. pretty clever the way it was <laughs> The done. way it was done. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, Evil Dead Rise as well. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That was that probably was... my top three right now. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. I'm going to say my top one was Renfield. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I came yeah. out of that movie just so excited and having so much fun. Yeah, I like that one quite a bit. My my uh, sometimes co-host, Jason, wasn't a fan of that one, but I like oh, that one really? quite a bit. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah, so, it's yeah. fun. Yeah. 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 I love that one. I love Nicolas Cage. And so anything with him, I'm going to be excited about. <laughs> um, but that was great. Yeah. Um, and then Boogeyman. Yeah, I love Boogeyman. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. For sure. Yeah. And then since we are halfway through the year, are there any films coming up that you guys are really excited for, or you're looking forward to seeing? or? Yes. So in October, there's a number of them coming out. I don't know how they're going to do this as far as getting a lot of people to go see all these movies, but you've got The Exorcist um, coming out. you got Saw 10 coming out. You've got Five Nights at Freddy's, the oh, yeah. video game adaptation um, coming out. And eventually Maxine, I think, is supposed to come out. Right, the third that in that yeah, series. Yeah, I think that does come out this year. I don't yeah. know when, yeah. when the release date is, yeah. but yeah. Um, and then eventually The Strangers also, a remake of that, is supposed to come out. So definitely looking forward to October. Yeah. Um, but... In a couple of weeks, we have Insidious as well. Oh, yeah, that yeah. looks really, really good. Yeah, that looks yeah. really good. I wasn't a huge fan of some of... I've been hit or miss on some of the Insidious films, but that okay. one actually looks really good, yeah. so I'll definitely want to check that one out. For yeah, sure. we've been yeah. going through the we... series, actually. You know, when when you guys are done watching this, you can go check us out on <laughs> wherever. <laughs> we have all the in- Insidious films. We've been reviewing those recently. Well, that'd be great yeah. for yeah. You know, anyone that uh, maybe hasn't seen all the yeah. films. They can watch the podcast yeah. and kind of get yeah. your views on it and then get jazzed up for the new one that's, that's coming out. That's kind of the idea. Weeks, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I am excited for Insidious. I forgot about that. Um, 
and Maxine. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a really, really good uh, conclusion to the to the trilogy for sure. So I'm right. I'm looking forward to seeing that too. Mia Goff is a really, really great actress. Yeah, so I'm really, really, really excited to see how that one goes. Yeah, yeah those those are some pretty big ones as well. Yeah. I mean, I know you guys would love horror. Are there any other films that you like this year that maybe weren't horror or? Well, I am looking forward to Elemental. I'm super excited about the new Pixar movie. <laughs> yeah, I had an opportunity to go to an advanced screening of it, and fortunately it was it coincided with another advanced screening the same night, so I wasn't able to go. But, uh, yeah. um, but I'll probably catch that one on, uh, when it comes out on, on Disney Plus or, something, or, or Disney Plus yeah. or something of that nature. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And I don't know, I feel like we don't go to movies that aren't <laughs> horror movies these days. That makes sense. Um, I mean, you do have a horror movie podcast, so yeah, yeah. I completely, I completely yeah. understand yeah. that. Yeah. He would have to remind me of any other movies we've gone to. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. He's my memory. memory. So. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't see The Flash or any no, of those films no. or anything like that? Yeah. yeah. You're not, 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 not big Marvel and DC guys or anything like not that? Not really. Yeah. yeah. Not really into the superhero stuff. I like I like the Batman films, like yeah. the Christopher Nolan Batman films. Yeah, well, those are almost horror movies in themselves. Yeah. They're very yeah. dark, yeah. and yeah. you know, yeah, they either you know they're very yeah. the Joker's very creepy in those, <laughs> yeah. you know. So, yeah. Yeah. So I can get I can get down with those superhero movies, but other than that, not necessarily. Um, oh no, you didn't go to that. Never mind. I was going to say the Spider uh, the Spider Man one that recently came out. Oh, Spider Man. That oh, into the yeah. into the Spider Verse. Yeah. yeah, I just yeah. saw that uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, okay. I enjoyed that one. It's a very I like the first one, so it was, it was really good. I thought it was better than the uh, uh, the 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 other one that came out, the Spider Man Homecoming, or, yeah. or, okay. or, or No Way Home, ago. or some, whatever yeah. that one was called. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 I liked it better than that one for okay. sure. So, yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, those are. Those I are do all like great. Spider Man movies. Very but cool. I haven't seen the Spider Verse yet. Very cool. Yeah, I just wondered because I never asked if you watch any other films besides we do. The street horror. <laughs> no, we, we do watch other ones, but just this year, not necessarily. Um, when I like, get my way, we yeah. do. Oh, well, we did go to the uh, Titanic. Um, oh, yes, in I was going to mention that. Oh, yeah. Was that this year? That. Yeah. I think so. That okay. Was the, uh, that was that amazing. Was cool. Yeah, I could Titanic see that. in 3D yeah, I'm is sure like really no good. other 3D. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. special yeah. effects were already, well, for its time, were like yeah. phenomenal. So obviously yeah. in 3D, I'm sure it's going to yeah. be just off the charts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it puts you right there on the boat. Was yeah. that at the IMAX then, or where was it? It was at, we saw it at Studio Movie Grill. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a very yeah. good theater also. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. But it was never filmed for 3D, so we were like, eh, we'll see how this goes. But Wow. Yeah. Very cool. It was really best, good. best 3D movie I've yeah. seen as far as the 3D-ness of it. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Very cool. Yeah. And okay. that's one of my top movies. So that's <laughs> oh, my, okay. that's well, my number two. Go, so yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. The wife says, hey, we're yeah. going to go see this. Because go <laughs> <Yeah, back." yeah. laughs> I'm sure you're dragging her to movies she doesn't want to <laughs> see all the time. <laughs> well, I thank you guys both for being on the show. Is there yeah. anything else you wanted to add or anything else you wanted to share with the audience uh, that they should know about Scare Talk? Um, just go check us out. I mean, we also have social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, Twitter. So you can find us there. Just search Scare Talk and you'll be able to find us. Are we um, still doing TikTok? I feel like we oh, haven't posted any yeah, TikTok Yeah, we do lately. some. We yeah. do some. Joel's in, in charge of that. So yeah. Joel, go so, get so on TikTok that. is still there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Sounds yeah, good. We do. Well, go thank you guys so much for being on the podcast and on the show right. here. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. We'd love to have you guys back anytime. And uh, maybe we'll do another show uh, at the end of the year and see if your top picks for the year. See right how they the went. Because yeah. <laughs> so, you got a lot coming up in October. So, yes. yeah. yeah. Well, thank you yeah. again for joining thank us. Thank you. Thanks. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. And we'll be back again soon with some more shows. Sounds drive. Sounds right.